Some new developments in a bakery battle in Lake in the Hills as that business fights for permission to hold events. Tia Ewing is in Studio 32 with the update. Tia? Well, Natalie and Corey, the fight started over a drag show, but now there's a resolution. It all started in July when Uprising Bakery and Cafe announced that they were having a family-friendly drag show. That's when they started to receive hate online. On July 23rd, the business became the target for an alleged vandal that drove roughly 60 miles from Alsip. And now 24-year-old Joseph Collins is charged with felony hate crime and criminal damage to property. That's when the ACLU of Illinois stepped in, sending this letter to the village of Lake in the Hills, calling the move to hot events unconstitutional retaliation. Uh, parties involved are all on the same page and have come to an agreement that's going to allow her events to go forward. Lake in the Hill said the cafe was not zoned for entertainment, but now there's a resolution and the drag show will go on. We see this as, as a victory over uh, hate and extremism. You know, anytime that uh, violent extremists uh, get to dictate the terms of debate in our society by committing acts of violence, everybody loses. And we're happy that in this instance, that was not allowed to happen in Lake in the Hills. And the heckler's veto was not given power here. For the family friendly drag show, it is rescheduled for August 7th. Live in Studio 32 tonight, I'm Tia Ewing.